So this is one of the views that actually I'm most excited about. We call this the filament view. And what it basically does is it takes the actual execution flow of the program and maps it in a three-dimensional space where we actually get to spread time and show how the execution flows across the inputs. This is actually a representation of two different binaries where one is a patched version of the other. So the cool thing is this allows us to actually show divergence between two executions based on either input or modified binaries. So in this particular case, it actually allows us to fairly rapidly determine what's going on, where in this instance, one team has actually deployed a patched version of a binary. And when we see it come and begin execution, we can see some of these sort of loop-like structures that show uh, the individual code blocks executing, but across time. So what this view allows us to do is have many of those types of, of constructs that we're used to seeing in machine code that represent code logic and code and data structures actually present themselves with very unique shapes, like these reoccurring uh, shapes that we see here actually represent loops. And in this case, this little icon here actually means that that's a transmission. So in this instance, this overly aggressive patch has actually caused the program to terminate early before fulfilling its intended purpose, even when given totally legitimate data. Whereas if we allow execution to continue, we can see that there was a lot more that, that was supposed to execute here and a lot more that was supposed to be done until we would normally uh, execute the program. Many exchanges were meant to be had here, many sends and receives and processing of that input. So even from a very high level perspective, not looking at any machine code, not looking at any reverse engineering interfaces, we can tell that this particular construct, this actual execution flow is how it should have been and this is what happened and it's very apparent that the modification has actually caused termination uh, early without letting it actually do what it's supposed to do.